Hey there, Weekend Filler fans. My name is Mary, and I am so excited to welcome you to Frogs, the Chorus of Colors here at the Academy of Natural Sciences of Drexel University. This exhibit is absolutely wonderful. It features uh, 15 species of live frogs, dozens of awesome little animals. It also has really fun interactives, buttons to push, videos to watch, and when you come in, you might get to interact with a really cool staff member like myself who can teach you more. This is Rachel. She is a keeper from Clyde Peeling's Reptiland, and today she is holding a giant monkey frog. He's also known as a bicolor. Uh, the reason why he's got these names, first and foremost, the monkey part, as you see here, he has thumbs, and this allows him to climb up high in the trees. And you can watch him here uh, at the exhibit climbing around if you catch him on the right day. Uh, the bicolor name comes because he has two different colors. If you check him out, on the top he is nice and green, the typical green frog. And on the belly, he's actually a little bit yellow and white. And this is so he stays camouflaged from above as well as below. I also really like the poison dart frogs. Those are one of the frogs that when folks come in here, they see them and they recognize them because they've seen pictures of them or they've seen them on TV. And even though they're teeny tiny little frogs, they're really beautiful. They've got these great jewel colors, really fun behaviors, and they're just so cute and fun to watch. You might find from species to species that frogs sort of behave in different ways. You might even say that they sort of have a personality. Um, but generally speaking, the frogs are pretty chill. They're going to relax and hang out and uh, just basically wait for their next meal. There's a couple of really interesting facts about frogs. One thing that you might not know is that all frogs are to some degree a little bit toxic. And they get that toxicity by eating different bugs and turning it into uh, poison. Um, toads actually have a little gland behind their eyes that they create poison with. And most of the time, that toxin is just going to make them taste yucky, so that if something ate them, it would spit them back out. Um, but for some frogs, like the poison dart frogs, they actually use that toxicity to make a very deadly poison. That's a pretty interesting fact about frogs. And I think because they're so special and interesting, something else that people might not know is that, believe it or not, frogs are some of the most endangered species on the planet. It, but there are things that you can do to help save them. One major thing you can do is um, help support organizations that help save frogs, like Frog Watch. You can also do some small steps in your backyard, like not uh, putting toxins on your grass or poison on your grass to keep pests away. Um, but you can also do things like river cleanups to make sure that the habitats that they live in stay nice and clean. I'm very lucky. I always tell everybody that I have the best job in Philadelphia because I get to come to this great museum that's got dinosaurs and dioramas, but we also get really cool special exhibits like this one, the frogs exhibit, where I get to come every day and check out these cool animals and meet the people that really love them and want to come learn more. Thank you so much for joining me here today in Frogs, A Chorus of Colors at the Academy of Natural Sciences. Anytime you want to stop on by, we've got all kinds of great stuff going on.